These are dyed goose flight feathers, and they're being prepared for a very special purpose. The knife curls the pinions, as they're called, and they're stuck together with a secret waterproof and heatproof glue. Then, specially selected feathers are carefully trimmed for the next stage in the making of feather hats. Their manufacture started in Europe, but now Britain holds the lead for design and quality. A hat may contain as many as 200 goose feathers, plus 150 cox hackles specially trimmed ones being bent to shape by steam. Here, Mrs. Gwen Jennett is adding pads of bleached goose feathers, another form of manufacture, each pad composed of 10 or more selected feathers. Feathers are mostly imported for better quality, and the hat, when finished, will naturally possess that first virtue of a goose's overcoat, guaranteed light and waterproof. Incidentally, there's a choice of over 400 different shades. And there it is, complete. All that remains is for a lady to show it off. Very nice, too. The woman hater will mutter, feather brain. The gentleman will say, lady, you've a feather in your cap.